an Excel worksheet is made up of rows, which go across, columns, which go up and down, and cells, which are the individual little squares that you enter your data into. Columns have a letter assigned to them, and rows have a number assigned to them. A cell is referred to as the coordinates of the column and row that it lives in. This cell, for example, would be cell B6. To start entering data, just click a blank cell and type. And then when you're done, you hit return or tab to get to the next cell. To type into a cell that already has text in it, you can either overwrite the text by just selecting the cell by clicking once and typing, and it will overwrite whatever was in there before. Or you can double click that cell to get a text cursor inside. And you can either hit delete just from the back, or you can click the cursor into different places in the cell to fix a typo or make whatever edits you need to do. To move a cell, first you select it by clicking once, and then move your cursor just to the edge, and you'll see that the cursor turns into a hand. Then click, hold, and drag, and you can move the data to wherever you want it to go. To delete what's in a cell, there are two options. You can either clear the cell, which just means getting rid of whatever is inside the cell. You do that by selecting the cell and hitting the delete or backspace key and that will just clear out whatever's inside. Your other option is to really delete the cell, and that means not only getting rid of what's inside it, but the cell itself. You do that by selecting the cell you want to delete, right-click, and choose Delete. What will happen now is that Excel asks you what you want to do because it needs to fill in the space that's going to be left by deleting this cell. And you can either move all the other cells up, shift them left, um, or you can delete the entire row or the entire column.